everybody, and greetings from Lake Deaton in Wildwood, Florida. It's time for a weekend video. Well, as you can see, I've arrived at my final destination, and um, I want to talk about this past week's PowerCast. Um, in the PowerCast, Mike was talking about his meeting with Francois Dutut, I believe it's pronounced. He is the uh, author and translator of the, uh, the Mirror Bible, and it's a very popular translation, especially among gospel revolutionaries. And it's great work, and if you haven't gotten it, I highly recommend you get it. You can download it from Amazon or order it from Amazon in hard copy. And uh, again, that is called the Mirror Bible, and it's by Francois du Tout. Last part of that name is T O I T, D U T O I T. Okay, Francois was telling Mike that in a recent um, seminar or session that he was teaching. He explained to the audience that um, everybody, all of humanity, has gone through three births. Uh, the first birth being um, a, being born in the mind of God. And then the second birth was their actual physical birth of a woman uh, by their mother into this physical world, into this physical life. And the third birth was everybody was born again in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now that is the gospel truth. That is the truth. Um, and the reason being, Paul explains it so well, is all were dead in Adam, and that was everybody. And everybody who was in Adam, who was dead in Adam, are raised to life in Christ Jesus. And that's everybody. Same everybody. So, we had nothing to do with our birth in the mind of God. We had nothing to do, no choice in the matter, with whether we were born or not after that. And like the first two births, we had no choice in the matter in being born again in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who <clears throat> Paul affectionately referred to as the last Adam. You know, I, I get to thinking about all the folks who just, they, they cling to the final thing where you got to believe, got to believe, got to believe. Well, yeah, Jesus preached you had to believe, and then John concluded at the end of his gospel after he talked about how many times Jesus said you had to believe in him, and then he concluded that nobody believed. And um, it, Paul also concluded that in the book of Romans. Well, the reason nobody believed is because God blinded their eyes and stopped up their ears so nobody would believe, so he could have mercy on everybody. See, that's the beauty of God's plan, is he made sure we didn't have anything to do with it, no choice in the matter, and we and we did not fulfill a single requirement, especially the single most important one, which was to believe. So, um, I really wonder why it is that people hold on to that one thing, well, I'm a believer and therefore I am saved, and those who don't believe, well, they're not. And then I've even met people in, in that camp who actually don't believe in there is a there's a hell, which thank God they don't believe in that. But um, still, you got to believe, you got to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior according to those, those folks. Well, that's having something to do with your salvation. That basically says that the blood that was shed for all is not valid for all. It only is valid for those who, who do follow that um, instruction of believing in Jesus. And then they go through this whole uh, accepting Jesus, which is not even biblical. You won't find accepting Jesus anywhere in the Bible. Um, you know, there are some really prominent atheists. The one who comes to mind is a favorite of mine. His name is Chris, Christopher Hitchens. He recently died of um, cancer, and uh, I feel sorry for the man because he had a brilliant life, and he was very outspoken about not being, uh, not believing in God, and then of course not believing in Jesus being the Son of God, because that's, you're supposed to believe in Jesus being the Son of God. Just because you believe there was a guy named Jesus of Nazareth who walked the earth, that's not the requirement you have to fill, fulfill in the Christian doctrine. You've got to believe he's the Son of God, that he died for your sins, yada, yada, yada. And the man absolutely refused to do what Christians say you have to do to be saved. But you see, that's the whole point. 
if Christian if Christianity says that you have to do something to be saved, it belies and denies the gospel of grace. It belies and denies the the absolute meaning of grace. There is no grace in you gotta do. There is no grace in you gotta do. I'll repeat it again. There is no grace in you gotta do. If you say you gotta do that, if you say you gotta believe, then you are preaching a false gospel according to Paul. It's another gospel, but it's certainly not the gospel of grace. I just wanted to make that clear because it seems to be coming up lately a lot. Well, I've had a, um, a beautiful but very hectic weekend here in Florida, getting set up with my RV and everything, but I'm home and I'm happy to be here. And thank you all to everyone who made it possible for me and have a good weekend. What's left of it? Bye-bye.